Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best cannabis growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. Woo! What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Grow Tent. We got a fantastic episode for you today. Uh, we're going to be doing a three tent update. We got a bunch of cool looking stuff in every single tent from our feminizing uh, pollen producing tent to our granddaddy purple to the early lemonberry. So we're going to be going over all three today. Guys, remember, if you want to hang out with us a little extra or want to hang out with uh, old grow tent more, you can always join on the Patreon page. Pretty much provides a direct link to uh, communicate right with me. It pings right to my phone anytime you send me a message on there. Uh, and some of the levels have really cool stuff like free uh, one-hour consultations a few times a month. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Lots of free uh, merchandise, coffee mugs, t-shirts, sweatshirts, depending on the level you join. And we got a really awesome Discord community over there. You can always find a link to it in the video description below. So without further ado, woo! let's get today's episode started. As I said before, lots of cool stuff to go over. We're going to start right here in the uh, feminizing... Uh, or the feminized pollen producing tent in the old yield lab, the tent we're giving away today. So let's get started. Welcome to the grow tent. <laughs> All right, guys, we're hanging out here in the two by four tent. Now, if you guys remember, this is the tent that we have been spraying the, uh, the crap out of uh, the, uh, the plants in here with colloidal silver and silver thistle. So you say grow tent, these might be the ugliest plants you've ever produced and you would not be incorrect if you notice i've been defoliating the heck out of them because it made it a lot easier to spray and get to the nodes if all the plants were stripped of leaves but the leaves just keep growing right back of course but we have been defoliating them we are in week i think we're at the end of week three i don't know i haven't looked at my calendar to be honest but if you notice, the buds aren't getting any bigger. That is a great sign, because we don't want it making buds. We want it, if we come in here, and we see this, see those right there? Uh, maybe, focus, focus. Right there, you see these right here? These are nanners. Let's see if we can open it up. See that right, right there? That is a nanner. That is what we're looking for. That right there in the bud is a pollen. That is going to be. That's going to open up into a pollen, a flower, and pollen is going to come out of it. Whenever you we hear us talking about nanners, this is the kind of stuff we're looking for. Whenever you say nanners, whenever you're looking at your bud, if you're not trying to make seeds, you do not want to see these. But when you are trying to make seeds. That's exactly what we want to see. How freaking cool is that, guys? A little colloidal silver. We've got some nanners that are going to produce some feminized pollen for us, and we're going to cross these with the uh, giant purple monster and uh, make some really cool purple frost giants. So, I mean, how amazing is that? But I will say it makes the entire plant really, really ugly. Like, it does different things to different ones. Like, this one was got a little stretchy in between and you know super tiny super super tiny bugs this buds this one did the exact opposite this one got short and compact like if you weren't trying to make nanners out of these look look at the bud stacking on them i mean it's just bud site 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 so but we're right where we want to be we're getting our nanners are still are starting to show up exactly what we want what we were looking for that's where we're gonna get our feminized pollen for uh once we get enough of them we're gonna collect it and we'll be putting it on the bud sites on in the big five by five to make our new purple frost giant so everything is going according to plan right on schedule it's hot in here today because i have all the fans off while i'm trying to talk with since i have all three tents open otherwise it's a little bit noisy it's pretty freaking hot in here <laughs> three tents running fully insulated room it's not it's not chilly <laughs> all right not much really to talk about other than that in this tent other than it makes the leaves the spray like made the leaves really ugly too like if we can look at them it almost looks like 
they had thrips. If I wasn't, if I didn't know better, um, I would say it looked like they had thrips. But it's like the the spray leaves like a residue on the leaves, and then because uh, I used a lot of colloidal silver, because <laughs> I wanted to make sure that this was going to happen. But it almost it almost leaves a residue that looks like it was thrips. But you can actually take your thumb and rub it off and it goes away so it's not definitely not thrips because that's not the way thrips work but it does leave a I, like i opened the tent i'm like holy cow did i get a bunch of thrips in here and i didn't notice no i didn't it was just it was just that but so cool if i could focus it makes you stronger focus that camera's like uh no i i will not focus there we go there we go look at that Look at that. Absolute. See this right here? That is your Nana. Your Nana. Look, there's another one right behind it. Right there. Growing in. When this opens, it's going to go and open up like this. And it is going to drop pollen out of it. See those little things right there? Those are Nanas. A whole little pack of them, just like you get in the grocery store. That is what you're looking for whenever you're trying to do this. And it's also what you're not looking for when you're not trying to make seeds. You see these, clip them the heck out of there. Otherwise, in like a week, that flower, that little pistols, those are not pistols, that little flower side right there is going to open. And then you're going to notice a bunch of like little dust on your leaves right below it. That is pollen. Uh, the fan in this tent is off. We're only running the exhaust system up top because I don't want the fan to knock all the pollen sites around with the air movement. So we've just been keeping this tent open, letting it stay cool that way. It's probably one of the reasons it's so hot when I'm sitting right here is because I have no air circulation happening at all here. But these aren't plants that I'm I'm worrying about. You know, I'm not gonna overwater, so we're not gonna have any mildew problems or anything like that. Uh, so I don't have the fan going so it doesn't blow the pollen around. The last thing I want is pollen going all over the room. I only want it to go to one certain tent. So, actually, I don't know. Those early lemon berries look pretty cool. I might, I might sprinkle some powder on those too. <laughs> some pollen on those too. They look amazing. All right, enough talking. Grow tip. Let's talk. Let's let's. We're gonna move on over to the five by five. See how the ladies are looking over there. I'll be right back. Let's go. Woo! What is going on? Check out the five by five. You guys remember how high up that sticker was? Do you remember how high up the wall it was? And now it's getting lost in the jungle mother nature has come to reclaim it it saw the big leaf up there it was like that's part of me we're going up we're gonna go get it uh the tent is uh i don't know you could say it's stuffed from wall to wall i think it'd be a pretty accurate statement we're losing the tower fan it's, you guys remember how tall that tower fan was it ain't got much height left luckily we're at the end of week three the stretch is over we're starting week four uh on monday so the stretch was done with that's good because we were out of room. I just had to start letting them come up a little bit, but that we maintained. This is what I like about the scrog netting. I can still maintain a somewhat semblance of a nice even canopy, unlike when we did the uh, punchy pit of death grow, and we had all the bamboo sticks, and we had it was so uneven and crazy, and you couldn't do anything with it because there was just really nothing you could do with that many branches. But as you can see, they are filling in really, really, really nicely already. There is no giant gaps as far as uh, bud spacing or anything like that. Everything is stacked right on top of each other. Looking, I mean, if we weren't going to, I say we, but if I wasn't going to be uh, uh, putting pollen in here, this would be, like always, a gigantic tent full of huge colas. But the second we put the pollen on them, they'll still make some bud, uh, but they're going to be mainly concentrating on making the seeds. Uh, and the trick to this is you don't want to pollinate it too, too early. Okay, I like to let it get a little bit of, of formation of bud on there because you'll find that you can get, you find you get more seeds out of it. And then if you do it right now, it's just a little bit early. I like to wait. So I'm about halfway through week four. Then we're going to take the pollen that is on the other mothers and we're going to sprinkle it all in here. And then shh, magic, 
it's gonna happen. We play like some some seventies like mustache porn music. <laughs> Bow chicka wow wow. So that's gonna be awesome, guys. I can't wait to uh, do it. Um, one of the things you got to pay attention to, especially when you got uh, a canopy this full, is you want to look out for. Uh, you know, I don't ever defoliate, but what I will do is I will go in here and see if there's leaves like this that are covering bud sites like that, and then I will just pull those off. Check out, check out that though. How cool does that leaf look? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. It's got nine fingers, and they're just perfect and beautiful. It's exactly what you want in your cannabis leaves to look like just nice big flat open green beautiful so this is the five by five this is the, the granddaddy purple these are the uh going to be the mothers that are carrying the seeds not the pollen producers that we were just over with hanging in the other tent but these are going to be the actual mothers that carry the seeds for our purple frost giants super excited uh that's going to be our next drop for our patreon page and then uh after that bird seed we are going to be uh, planting this weekend, actually, we're going to be planting uh, Master Kush and Skywalker OG, and that's going to make our, our next line that's called uh, Jedi Council Kush. So I'm super excited about that. Just figured I'd give you guys an update on this tent. And uh, next, we're going to move over to Early Lemon Berry. I don't know if you guys are following us on Instagram, but if you don't, you should come check it out. It's Welcome to the Grow Tent is the name. But in between each word, just put an underscore so it's welcome, underscore, to, underscore, the, underscore, grow tent. Um, so you guys come check it out because I put pictures up all the time during the week. That's kind of like where I hang out during the week whenever I'm not putting up videos on the weekend for YouTube. I uh, hang out on the Instagram. So you guys make sure you come over there and check it out. Uh, but if you were following over there over the weekend, I mean, absolutely, absolutely amazing, amazing uh colors they had last weekend or last week but like all things the fade eventually does win so they have faded quite a bit i really wish i would have shot the video of them last weekend when the colors were so crazy the colors still look it's i mean the, the tent still looks really cool but the colors last week were freaking insane uh but like all things the fade does always win so let's go check out the early lemonberry tent and uh we'll say uh goodbye to these ladies for right now i'm gonna water them and feed them actually later today today is going to be the uh first time they've ever been they've ever been fed in their entire life these plants have never been fed nutrients this is today is going to be the very first day and we are at the end of week three flower so be careful anybody tells you, you need to feed all the time because you don't these plants giant beautiful never been fed before all right let's check out the early lemon berry tent Woo! It smells like such like pink lemonade in here. Guys, I don't know if you've noticed. Let me turn the lights down a little bit, maybe. Pick the colors up better. Um, I don't know if that made it better or worse. I can't tell yet. Hold on. Uh, worse, maybe. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but the pictures we had last week were of the colors were freaking insane. Uh, they have faded a ton because... You know, it's a fade. They're, they're naturally going to do this as they're burning up all the nutrients because I haven't fed them. And I think I only fed these plants two times the entire grow. So they're burning up all the nutrients in the leaves. They're fading through their colors. But the buds, look at the buds. Look at them. They are beautiful. Check them out. Look at how purpley and frosty everything is. Check these things out. Oh my goodness! Look at them. Purple and delicious. And it's still, the pink lemonade smell is so, so strong right now. And you know, but just look at the, just bud all the way across. You know, the leaves are starting to die. It's just a natural part of this plant's life. This has been the coolest looking strain I have ever grown, period, bar none, the end. This early lemon berry, if you saw the pictures of it, I put some of them up on YouTube. I put a bunch up on Instagram and did some stories with them. I don't know if I've ever seen a cooler fade happen in plants. They were pink, 
purple, freaking orange, blue, green. They were every color under the freaking rainbow. You can still see some pretty good remnants of it. You can still see the purples, the reds, and the pinks. But my goodness, did they look awesome. But I tell you what, as the leaves have been fading out, the, the beautifulness and the thickness of the bud has really been coming in. And I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I cannot wait to try this. Because it smells amazing. I mean, exactly like pink laminated. You know, I, I would mention where I got them from, but YouTube doesn't like that kind of stuff. So I can't, but if you want to know, you can always message me. <laughs> All right, to the grow tent at gmail.com. I'll throw that email up right here. All right, guys, that has been our three tent update. I can't wait to bring you more and more episodes. I'm super excited. We are going to be doing a the 2x4 giveaway for the Yield Lab tent today. Uh, we'll be doing that in a live stream later. Also, we're going to be planning, uh, as I said earlier, we're going to be planning our new Master Kush and our uh, Skywalker OG for to make our uh, our next parrot seed, uh, exotic bird seed. All right? So thanks, everybody, for hanging out with me. Oh, my goodness, this tent looks amazing. I love you guys. Grow tent! Out.